Hey what is up everyone, in this video I have a bunch of tips to improve your blender quality of life. If you like my content a like and a sub is much appreciated, now let's begin. The first set of tips are to do with the preferences and the first one is removing this splash screen. So a lot of people don't actually know that this is possible. So what you have to do is go up to the edit and then go to preferences. Now what you want to do is go to interface and then you'll see this option to disable this splash screen here. So it'll save you a bit of time whenever you load Blender up. My next tip is increasing the vertex size when you're using edit mode which is quite nice. So what you have to do is go over to themes. Now you want to go to 3d viewport and now scroll down and you'll see vertex size so you can increase this to whatever you like i'm going to try seven and when i go into edit mode you'll see they're a lot bigger and it's a lot easier to see especially if you're recording your work like i do the next thing is installing hdris as default so when you go for example up to here and click on here you'll see your uh, hdris of your choice appear here so to do this once again go back into edit preferences and now what you want to do is go to light and now you'll see you can install more hdris here the next handy thing is increasing the undo limit sometimes you realize you made a mistake too late and you need to go back but you can only go back so many times so what you can do is go to system and increase the undo steps here don't put it too high because it does take up a bit of resources to sort of remember this so I put it up to 64. The next tip is to set a default startup file which is a very good idea because you can customize your windows and all sorts of things that you like and also your render settings which can save you a lot of time when you make a new project. So to do this you can go up to file and then go to defaults and hit save startup file so whatever file you have open is what blender will open every time you create a new scene i actually do have on my gumroad a preset that you can buy which comes with my rendering guide pdf for two dollars if you are a patron you'll be able to get that for free so i have a link to all that in the description now on to the shortcut section of this video so the first one i have is something that a lot of people don't actually know even people who have been using blender for a long time so this is f9 after you create a new object what I mean is when you go and hit a cube see you have this little menu down here or any primitive object for example after you click off or it's gone you can't really get it back again or at least that's what most people think anyway but what you can do is actually select the object and then hit f9 and it will bring it back up here as you can see another great one is when you have a collection of objects so I am going to put these you can see that all in the scene collection or you can do is select one that's inside the collection and then hit shift G and you'll see you can now select uh, by a group and I'm gonna hit collection and you'll see it selects the entire collection so this is very good when you have an object that has a lot of separate parts but you would like to be able to select them all at once easily another great one is control L which allows you to link objects so I'll show you I'll go to the materials panel and add a new material to this cube I'll just put a color so we know which one it is so you see these ones do not have the material but what I can do is select the one that does and then or actually what I'll do is I'll select the other ones and then hold shift so this one is the active object and then I'll hit control L and then I will go and hit materials and you'll see it copies over the materials to the other cube cubes which can save you a lot of time if you need to add one material to a lot of different objects. Another great one is C to circle select. Quite a few people know about this, but I thought it's worth enough to add it. I'll just subdivide this so you can see what I mean. So if you hit C, you'll see that you get this little selector here and you can paint around objects, which can be quite handy depending on what you're working on. The last one is another one that a lot of people know about, but it's just so useful that I thought I should still include it and that is local view so you can hit the slash key on the numpad and you'll see it goes into an exclusive view just for one object so this is great when you just focus on one object and nothing else in your scene you of course hit it again to exit the view now on to the add-ons so all of these add-ons are free and I'll have them linked all in the description below so the first one is called machine tools by machine you can find him on 
and Gumroad, Blender Market, uh, and some other places. I will link in the description. And this add-on is great. So what this one is, is it's just a lot of features that speed things up. For example, when I hit tab, I get this option, a little pie menu for switching the different selection types, which is a lot faster than going changing it and then going up here to select what I want. I can just do it straight away like this to select what I want which is very handy. There's also a few other features which I'm not going to go over in this video but you should definitely consider downloading this add-on and like I said it's free. The next add-on is a really helpful one it's called Power Save by Bongiorno7 you can also find him on Gumroad uh, link in the description and what this does is it gives you a little option up here and it allows you to auto save and you can set amount of minutes so I have mine on two so if your blender happens to crash a lot then you won't lose pretty much all of your work because it'll be saving repeatedly there's also a few other features uh, like save on startup things like that so I definitely recommend checking this add-on out the next one is gaffer HDRI by Greg Zell he's done a lot of cool things related to HDRI and a few other add-ons as well but I really like using this one so what this allows you to do is gives you a little option down here so when you enable it you can select an HDRI you want I'm going to pick this one as my usual and it gives you a bunch of cool little options like rotation and the brightness this stuff you don't normally get you'd have to put in nodes yourself so that's quite handy and there's also a few other things down here as well as a button which goes to HDRI Haven which is also quite good the link will be in the description for that the last add-on I have for you is a great one and it's called Simple Tabs. So for quite a long time and it's still not really fixed, Blender has had all of these tabs on the sides and until now there hasn't been much you could do to actually clean it up. But now what you can do is install Simple Tabs and you get a little tab up here next to the Power Save one and when you hit Refresh it'll show up with all your different tabs for your add-ons and you can rearrange them and rename them and it just is very helpful for sorting out all the different tabs of course a link to this will be in the description and just like the rest it is free hey thanks for watching everyone i have switched to using adobe products to edit my videos so hopefully you liked this one I'm still learning the new effects and general workflow so you can tell me what you think in the description below. If you would like to help support me and get perks you can do so on Patreon and big thanks to Kevin and Noah for already supporting me. Don't forget to drop a like and a sub and I'll see you in the next video.